Um, I think I have a chronic problem with cycling bibs. I have way too many. What's up guys, my name is Charles and welcome back to my cycling YouTube channel. In today's video, we will find out which bibs are my worst and which bibs are my best. Over the years, I accumulate a lot of cycling bibs. As of right now, I have 13 to rank, but I want to go over all of them one by one, and I will try to say one good point and one bad point about each bibs. Just so you guys find out which are my favorite bibs. I get this question asked a lot of times on my Instagram, at Charles uh, People just want to know if they're doing a good investment. Because cycling bib charts are an expensive piece of apparel, and you don't want to go wrong when you're putting $200 or $300 or 50 bucks on the cycling bibs. So if today's deal can help you guys choose which one to go, well, mission accomplished for me. So here are all the cycling bibs I have scattered across the bed. Uh, there's a bunch of uh, big brands that you guys surely know, such as Pale Mafia, Seven Mesh, I have Jack Crew, I have BME, I have Lululemon, I have Neo Pro, and a few more that I cannot remember. Red White as well. So in 13th place, we have this Neo Pro. Why it's there? Well, it's because it's a $60 bib. It doesn't have rip. It's just like this band that is way too tight around. The quad, the chamois is just not comfortable for long rides and the straps are like not soft. Last place goes to this Neo Pro. Well, it's 60 bucks. It's the only good point. In 12th place, we have the Lululemon C2 Sky Bibs. Lululemon, I've been trying to do cycling bibs about two years ago and it was kind of of a flop. Uh, this bib was one of my first real cycling bibs. It's so close to be good but it's bad. The grip at the bottom was just not grippy enough, so the bib was always going up the leg. And the fabric is, I think they used really light legging fabric, which is nice to the touch, but it was not the best when cycling outside. The straps were good, they were comfortable. The chamois was not so good. You didn't really felt your saddle pushing into your sit bones. Could have been a great bib, but unfortunately, it missed the point. In 11th place, we have this Katusha. So I was super excited to try Katusha because they've been on the world tour, but this Icon bib was just a C minus, I would say. Uh, fabric is not too soft. At the bottom, there's no grip. It's just this band, breathable band, but the, the bib was going up my leg all the time and the chamois was okay. Katusha is dead right now. I think the company is, uh, they are bankrupt, so you cannot buy them anymore. Icon bib, 11th place was fun to try but now I'm selling it. Now this bib that I've really worn down over the years is this Jack Crew a solar bib. Uh, this one was from iBike. I've used it a lot and a lot. It was a good bib but overall I'd say B quality so nothing exceptional. The grip was fine, the fit was nice, the straps were comfortable but I've just seen better over the years. So this is why this bib is in the top 10. In ninth place, we have the 7 Mesh MK3 Cargo Bib. So something, I, I don't know why, because the fabric is nice, it's like, it feels good to the skin. The grip it works well, but not on the long term. What it happened to me with 7 Mesh Bibs, uh, those MK3 line, is they're super good at the beginning, but they do wear out quickly over time. I feel like the, the bib just started to slide up the leg too quickly. This one with the pockets, I feel the design, because of the pockets, the cargo pockets, it was just like pulling some sort of pressure around the quads and it was just not comfortable at all. The rear pockets are cool, but I've never got to use them. So you do pay for features. I may be a little bit too much of extra for me. Maybe if you're a full on gravel cyclist, this is the best bib in the world for you because of those rear pockets and because of those side pockets. But for me, I didn't find it too much. And the fabric is quite rough. I, I've seen better, uh, the, but the straps are amazing. Because at 200 USD retail, uh, I was expecting a little bit better from this. It was great for the time it lasted, but for now, I'm not gonna use it anymore. Now in eighth place, we have the Red White, the bib entry. So Red White is not a really known brand. It's run by this one guy who run this business out of his apartment. And those bibs are made in pollen. And for $85, this is a really good price point. Uh, I think it's the most affordable bib that give the best comfort I've seen. The grip at the bottom are really wide and really grippy, uh, just like what you, what you want in good bibs. Uh, the fabric is soft and nice. The chamois is amazing for that $85 price point to have this chamois that is extremely soft and breathable. I was not expecting that at all. Straps are good, 
Uh, overall, this is a B plus bib for the price. You guys should definitely check it out. Now in seventh place, this is again seven mesh with the MK3. So this one just doesn't have the extra pockets. It retail at 200 bucks. I like that bib. All the downsides from the cargo one are still in there. So the fabric is a little bit rough, but there's barely no stitching at all. You don't feel them. It's comfortable. Same problem with the grip that it's amazing at the beginning, but the bend is not this wide. It's still a good bib. The straps are extremely comfortable, but not my favorite. Moving on to sixth place, this is the Pedal Mafia uh, Pro Bib. It's like their middle of the line. It retails at $199, bigger grip around the legs, and the silicone here is really grippy, so it will stay down to the right place. A really nice chamois. Could be a little bit more breathable for me. Overall, comfortable. The seams are great, you don't feel them on your skins. And the straps from this line of Pedal Mafia are okay. Uh, I've seen better. Um, the sides here that are really thick, but it's extremely stretchable. So this is really nice. I love that bib. So sixth place, Pedal Mafia Pro bib. Now in fifth place, I have a sort of surprise. So this one's from BME. It's our iBike bibs, and it's only 120 bucks. And this bib is the one that I chose in to do my Everest. Uh, so I did spend 12 hours uh, on the bike using this bib. Uh, I've been using it a lot. The last year was mainly my go-to. The grip plate is uh, still extremely good. It's still extremely grippy after a lot of washing. Fabric is just comfortable. The fit is good. The straps are extremely thin. There's no edges around them. So it makes it really comfortable onto the skin. I like it. In fourth place, we have another bib from Red White. So this one is called The Bib. So it's their top of the line bib, but it's only 130 USD. So this price is extremely good. The grip plate is huge. As you see, it's the widest on all my bibs. So that's a good way to have it stay exactly where it should. Uh, the fabric is softer than most of those other bibs that we mentioned today into this video. Straps are great and what really put red white into another category is their chamois it's uh, extremely thick it's the thickest in all my bibs and then th this is why those bibs are designed actually for those really long rides so their slogan is in for the long rides now in third place contrary to one of my worst bib the katusha icon is this katusha uh, israel startup nation bib I don't think it was they were selling it this exact model because this one was for the pros but man this bib was so good uh, the grip plate was probably the best I've ever seen like you have a full band of silicon the chamois is absolutely unreal super comfortable super breathable super soft uh, but what I've loved about this kit is just the fit that it gives you I feel that you have like arrow gains from using this bib <laughs> Probably not, but uh, I don't know. It just feels really good, and this is why the Sketusha one took the top three. This is actually pro grade bib, and I really love that one. Now, in second place at 250 USD is the Pedal Mafia PMCC line. So, this is the top of the line of Pedal Mafia. This bib is just unreal, so comfortable. It's the most soft fabric I've seen, gets like the moisture out. The straps here are soft and elastic on this axle, but not on much on the other side so it's for good support and good comfort i really love the fact that this bib goes really high around the belly compared to other bibs so it's more comfortable for that and the branding pmcc they got it right it's beautiful you look good wearing this bib and now for the first place my top one favorite bib of all time and it's a canadian company and it's 7 Mesh. Yes, 7 Mesh made this bib called the RK1. It has the best fabric I've seen in all of the bibs. The grip plate could have been better, could have been wider, but the rest of the bib makes it just so comfortable. Every time I jump into this bib, I'm like, yes, that's my favorite bib. So it retails at $250, and I think it's absolutely worth the money. The chamois is great. Yeah, I'm not paid to say this 7 Mesh bib is my favorite, because it just actually is. I don't have much else to say. This is just my favorite. It's my, from my personal experience, this bib fits the best to me. Will it fit the best to you? Maybe, maybe not. As I do here with my channel, I share my personal experience. Yeah, best bib out there. All right guys, that's it for today's though. If you want to know more about the bibs I mentioned, uh, there will be links into the description down below for you guys to check it out. 
uh, if I would have one advice to say is you need to try different brands. They all make something different from each one to the other. But I know cycling bid can be an expensive purchase, but usually you get what you pay for into cycling. So $50 bibs will not be as good as $100 bibs and $100 bibs will not be good as $200 bibs and like that. But as we see, it's not always about the price. As I mentioned, the BME and the red white bibs that are around the 130 USD mark did slide into that top five. This is really great for those budget bibs, but they're just not as good as the top three for sure. All right, that's it for today's though. If you enjoyed, please don't forget to leave a thumbs up. Subscribe if you aren't already. I have a lot more cycling content coming next few weeks that you don't want to miss out. All right, my name is Charles and I will see you guys on the road or into the next video. Peace.